I would like to know if you approach the whole story as a futuristic film or how did you deal with it? I don't know if I thought of it as futuristic, but I thought of it as modern. I thought it was a very modern film in its storytelling and in its uh, visual, you know, because the cinematographer and this director uh, came f originally from the advertising world where everything, you know, is ahead of, of itself and Madison Avenue. So they gave it a very um, sleek, slick illusion. The, uh, with the cars and with the buildings and with the um, computer technology, it had a modern uh, feeling. And if you wanted to project future into it, I think you could. But I think it has a lot to do with the backgrounds of the director and the cinematographer. You know, you know he's definitely uh, a spy with an agenda that is being other people. He's always undercover in some way. Uh, he's a patriot. He really uh, believes in, in his purposes, you know, protect America and at all costs, protect the freedoms of America at all costs. So he's, he's complicated. Uh, I think who he really is is a patriot, who he pretends to be is someone else, and who what his hat is in life is a spy. The script naturally serves its own demonstration of that. So I didn't have to to do too much to concentrate on the ambiguity because the character was always very clear cut in what his intentions were, even though he was undercover. His biggest dilemma is really trying to convince Hugh Jackman's character that he's doing something good because he realizes this, this man has, is very conscientious and is, feels that what, he, what Gabriel's doing is wrong. And to the degree he feels it's wrong, he's feeling that maybe he would self-sacrifice, that maybe Hugh's character would, would ruin it for him. So he's trying to always you know, impinge on him that this is really a good thing they're doing. And the, the resistance from Hugh's character is what his real problem is. Because if, if he could just convince Hugh that it's a good thing, then he would break into the, the bank easier. He would be more reasonable. He wouldn't have to leverage him all the time and blackmail him and threaten him and all that, you see. But, but Hugh's character won't comprehend that, that it's the right thing to do. Well, mm -hmm. Hallie is so amazing. She's great and she's beautiful and she's all these great things. And, and the character is his partner, you know. They're all business, you know. They're lovers too, but, you know, they're also partners. <laughs>